Hello everybody, welcome to Bojana Priya. Today I am going to make Dil Pasand. It is a sweet dish very famous in India. This is also called as Dil Kush. For that we require 1 cup of coconut, 1 fourth cup of mixed fruit jam, 1 third cup of sugar, half a cup of tutti frutti, half a cup of all-purpose flour, some ghee, warm milk, some yeast, a pinch of salt. It can be made in two different ways using puff pastry and like a bun like crust. Recently in Dubai, I tasted this dil pasand in a form of a bun with the same stuffing. So I'm going to try that bun version now. For that, we need to take yeast in a cup, some sugar, two portion of the yeast quantity and warm milk. I'm going to save this much of milk to brush on top of the bun. I'm going to close this and allow it to rest for 10 minutes so that it will raise. Please make sure you are using a warm milk so that uh, the culture will not be killed and it shouldn't be too cold. The culture will not happen. Now let's start doing the filling. For that we have to dry roast this coconut in a very low flame. Keep stirring this coconut slowly. After 4 or 5 minutes, it will start losing its moisture and become dry. In the traditional way of doing dil pasand, they will use dry coconut, dry shredded coconut to make the sweet. Since I don't have this uh, dry coconut, I'm using fresh coconut and making it dry. Now the coconut has become dry. This is the time to add sugar. Stir this well. Now the sugar got incorporated with the coconut. At this point, we will switch off the flame. Add jam to it. Mix this well. It will get liquefied. Don't worry, while we are letting it to cool down, it will again come back to its form. Now we will add tutti frutti. Since I am adding jam, I then take this red color tutti frutti. See how colorful the mixture is. Now we will let this cool down. Let's come to the dough part. I have taken the all purpose flour. I am going to add salt. Ghee to it. mix well now let's add this milk see the yeast has come up very well this has been resting for 15 minutes good result i'm going to add this to the dough add some water to it until it comes to a smooth dough Now it has come to a smooth dough. We will coat this with ghee. And allow it to rest on the counter for another 15 minutes. The dough has been resting for a while. Now you can see it has doubled in its quantity. We are going to knead that again. Cover this and let it rest for another 5 minutes. Now the mixture is in room temperature. 
I'm going to add nuts to it. I'm just adding badam. If you wish, you can add cashew nut or pista. See, now the dough has raised well. We are going to work on this again and start filling the sweet. This dough is enough to make one dill percent. I'm going to stretch this. Make sure the center is not very thin. You will be able to see the center is thick and the corners are thin. I have just uh, made this mixture into two portions. I'm just taking one portion and filling it here and just smooth this out and then stretch the corners to the center as we do in parathas. Seal this with the rest of the milk which is saved before. This side will go below and this will be the top side. Now I am going to show the puff pastry version. This is a ready made paratha. I bought this from the store. It is available in all the supermarkets. I am just going to flop the piece and stretch a bit. As I said before, the center has to be quite thick. Now the paratha is stretched on the sides. I am going to fill the rest of the sweet. As we did before, we are just going to smooth this out and close this. Stretch and close. Again, I am going to use the milk here to seal this. Turn this way and make this into a round shape. I have taken a baking tray and covered this with a baking paper. I am going to keep this dill percent here. Brush this with milk. And keep this in the oven which I have preheated before in 180 degrees. It has been preheated for uh, 15 minutes. We are going to keep this in the middle rack and bake for 30 minutes. We are taking it out of the oven. Now it's done. We are just going to drizzle some ghee on top of it. See how well it has puffed up. Let it cool down and we will see the inside of it. Now we will see the inside of it. Very crispy and very nice. See. We also see this. This is the way I ate out. It's very spongy inside. Dill percent is ready now. You can serve this warm or at room temperature. Please try this recipe at home and leave your comments. If you like this video, click like button below. And for more exciting recipes, subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Thank you.